Next, we actually have a customer that is very special to Oracle, and some of you are going to know why. Please join me in welcoming the CIA. Simply put, the CIA is America's first line of defense. The global intelligence it provides helps leaders make decisions that protect and bolster national security. And its mission is straightforward. Use the power of information to keep the nation safe. Throughout its history, the CIA has pioneered bold technology solutions that have helped solve America's biggest intelligence challenges. Please welcome to the stage, Linnea Jones. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, Safra. It's our honor. Now, it's um, most of you probably do not know that the Central Intelligence Agency was Oracle's first customer, and without which we wouldn't even be here, and we view the mission of keeping the world safe as our single, really our top mission. I, uh, it is hard to believe it was 1977, and we are still working together, Absolutely. And it is, it is really such an honor to have you up here. I think you heard the screaming when, when we mentioned you. And um, it's not like the CIA's job has gotten smaller. So maybe you could share a little bit about really your thoughts on handling global threats and, and just how you do it all. Absolutely. So first and foremost, I want to say this is an immense honor and privilege for CIA to be here in this capacity. Uh, as you mentioned, Oracle was founded at CIA in 1977, and look where we are today. And so for us, it's full circle. And although I'm here, I represent the thousands and millions of people across the intelligence community and across the Department of Defense in the global mission of keeping us safe for national security. And so just want to say thank you on that. You asked uh, what is it that keeps us together and keeps us up? First and foremost, I want to highlight security. And so we realize in this mission that this is a shared mission space. It's too big, too hard for us to do by ourselves. And so we welcome the partnership. We are absolutely enthused that security is just as important to Oracle as it is to CIA, as well as the intelligence community. Uh, we do all we can in order to keep the nation safe, to lead the way. We want the best, the brightest technology, the best solutions to be able to do that. And we appreciate having a partner such as yours that help us to, to perform that journey. And so we talk about the conflict readiness and the global resiliency. Uh, the CIA is all over. And so with that being the case, we need a global partner to be a part of that mission. I, I'll tell you, for us, you know, it is, it is our greatest honor, and, uh, and I thank you back. I am sort of drawn back to your, really, your career, and I think about it, you were a database administrator, I, and so you have been on the ground floor of just watching the importance of data increase, and so maybe you could just share a little bit with our group how you're using data, Oracle technology, and um, really keeping us all safe. Absolutely. So as you mentioned, Safra, I did. I humbly started as a database administrator. And who would imagine I would be here today speaking with you? And so I think that that is just a testament of how powerful and transformative the technology is and how it's changed everything we do. Um, there isn't any aspect of the world from an innovation to a disruptiveness that technology is not a part of. It's changed the way we've worked, the way we've lived, uh, the way that that we do our day-to-day -day missions, right? And so we look at that at the CIA as it's 
part of every facet and asset of everything we do, from finances to human resources, to the mission space, to being out forward, to denied access areas, to you mentioned being on a ship from our soldiers and our sailors and our airmen, to everything we do. And so we, again, look at that as an opportunity to be able to bring them the best technology, the best solutions, the best data, as quickly as possible to make the best intelligence decisions to perform the mission. Yeah, when you speak, it resonates so deeply for me because our mission at Oracle is making sure that you never have to compromise, that you always have the best, that you have access, whether you need it in a super classified, uh, disconnected, like all those capabilities, we never want you to have to compromise because frankly, I'm not sure our adversaries are compromising. They're taking and looking and using and we've got to always be way better Absolutely. with them. And it's not only the ones way out on the field, it's also the people running the enterprises. Absolutely. Maybe since we haven't cleared all of you, you could <laughs> share a little bit about how you're you know, creating experiences for your people that really help efficiency so you can direct your resources where you need them. Absolutely. And so you started out talking about data, right? It's no secret that data analysts, data scientists, and the way that we want to use data to help to augment our intelligence decisions has evolved, right? Through generative AI. And so we talk about the cybersecurity aspect. That's one line of business that we absolutely want to use the data to help make better insights into what's going on with our adversaries and to prepare to reduce the attack vector for the amount of vulnerabilities available. Uh, so let's talk about security from that aspect. One thing that we've seen from a shift is over the past 10 to 15 years, it's moved from more of a kinetic to more of a cybersecurity mission, right? The cyber landscape every day is evolving and getting worse and worse. And so we want to be able to have the data to make data-driven decisions, uh, whether it be for the enterprise, for larger landscapes all around the world, and even for locations that might be one or two people, but we want to make sure that they have the best in order to keep them safe and bring them back home. And so that's one piece of it. I talked about how the data, we used it from an old school database, but now it wouldn't be fair to have any type of event and not talk about generative AI. We in the intelligence community and the defense landscape want to be able to use generative AI as well. It can help to augment our missions all across many sectors. Uh, everything we do from logistics to supply chain to cyber to finance to human resources, we want to be able to have that to help augment everything we do. And so I feel as though from that aspect, we're no different than others. We want the translation capabilities. We want to be able to uh, drew the summarization. We want to be able to have the, the rapid data and inferences to look Look at vast amounts of raw data in very different forms and all over and be able to make logic of that in a much faster realm. And so we have the same challenges as the commercial and that's one thing that we always look to try to have in our classified spaces as best as possible, parity to have the latest and the greatest um, in the spaces that we need it the most. I'll tell you, you are our design point. Some of our colleagues out here know that we have an everything everywhere policy. That in fact, unless it's available all the way in a classified disconnected region, we don't even consider it GA. Because you are our toughest customers <laughs> and you teach us so much. And so the fact that you're forward leaning, looking at over the horizon in what should be next, because frankly, you have the most important mission, keeping the world safe. And you and your colleagues in defense, very important to us. And we thank you. We thank you for partnering with us. And we look forward to, well, I don't want to say the next 47 years. Some of us may be on a beach by then. But uh, um, definitely thank you. Thank you for, for the Central Intelligence Agency. And thank you to you 
for being so forward leaning and such a wonderful partner. Thank you so Thank very, you so very much. much. Our pleasure. Thank you. Oh, oh. Awesome. Thank you.